So we got two pieces of Transformers TCG trading card game news in relation to the Titan Masters Attack expansion set. First one being that of the WPN launch party kit that is being offered to all local game stores. Now, for people who don't know, the WPN is a network that is created by Wizards of the Coast. And if you're part of that network and a store owner that sells trading card products and that kind of stuff, you could be eligible for all all kinds of promotional related stuff to kind of, you know, create the community and grow it stronger in your local area. And so in this case, we have a Titan Masters Attack launch party kit that is being offered, and it essentially comes with 25 copies of one kind of character card, six, uh, 15 sets of three different of another character card, and two promotional posters to hang in your store. Now, what are these character cards? So first of, all, first of all, you get 25 copies of Arcana, which is the headmaster for Brainstorm. And this is a promotional card that you could give out to your, you know, your best customers. Or if you run tournaments, it could be a, a prize. That's the whole point of these promotional cards is there's different ways that the store could decide how they want to give them out. Uh, but they're used to kind of create interest in the product so that they could make money from selling it. So the Arcana card here, we'll just jump into it quickly uh, for people who know the TCG. Uh, it's not that much special from, let's say, what we saw with Cups Flintlock. This one doesn't really have any bells and whistles when it becomes the smaller robot mode of the head. Uh, obviously, it's, it, all you have here is it can't flip, which is something that is going to be common across all the Titan Master Headmasters because, well, the alt mode is the head, and you can't turn into that if you don't have the body. So not much to say there. The other promotional card, and this is the one that catches my eye especially, is the... 15 piece sets that are going to be given out of three different larger characters aka tidal wave and this kills me because uh the tcg has no uh presence uh here in quebec where i'm from in montreal it's just a language law thing so i won't be able to get any of these i'll probably have to figure something out with the tcg guys but this is an awesome thing for people and it's even more awesome because as a magic the gathering player i love when flavor text or concept affects gameplay and what i mean by that is tidal wave as a toy as a transformers armada toy and character always had this strong connection with being a carrier for mini cons back in the day and he even had his own little mini con that chilled with him called ramjet and the gimmick that's going on with the cards here is pretty freaking awesome. It really is. And obviously we're working, you know, I'll get into the specifics of it and what has what's to do with MicroMasters because obviously Minicons aren't a thing really here. But essentially he's a three-piece combiner very similar to that as Omega Supreme that we got from Siege 2. Uh, you, the combiners that we had before were obviously, you know, the traditional combiners, five-piece, six-piece. And they kind of had their own story when it came to when they became combined. These three-piece combiners, because they're not made of individual transforming robots or individual characters, Characters, both Omega and here with Tidal Wave had the, the caveat that when they combine, uh, they still have all the damage from their individual pieces. So that carries over. Um, but the cool thing with Tidal Wave that I really appreciate, and again, it goes to the flavor of the Armada toy line even, is that each individual piece, whether it be the uh, aircraft carrier, the transport, or the battleship, each one of them could have a individual character which has four stars or fewer which in most cases is going to be micromasters uh could be placed under it and could come into battle after this piece has been ko'd whether it be combined or otherwise and that's a really cool extra wrinkle to battle because you could get some really cool micromasters put these under these characters have a war of attrition and even after you've you know done all your damage with tidal wave and somehow your opponent manages to get rid of him you still have two mini cons that could roll out and still seal the deal and finish it and again it goes back to the flavor of the toy specifically like the aircraft carrier piece in the original tidal wave armada toy from 2001 2002 um 
you know, had that little ramjet that was stored inside him, little uh, minicon. And it's the same thing with Tidal Wave's transport. It had all these little, like, chairs that little minicons could sit in in the original toy. So it, again, throws back to that. And so it's it's so cool that that kind of flavor text throws back to the, the engineering of the toy and stays true to that, but also makes a really interesting wrinkle in engineering to that of the card game and, and adds a little more, you know, spiciness to the fight. And that's it for the, the promotional stuff. So, I mean, that's something to keep an eye out for. In, if you're in obviously English speaking uh, areas, you will be able to see these at your local game stores. If they, uh, if they opt for it, if you don't, know if your stores will offer go to your local game store and say hey i'm interested in the transformer tcg let them know about the wpn thing with wizards and let them know to contact them and then it lets wizards know that there's interest in the game and this is always a good way for them to measure it and hey your store gets cool free stuff and promo stuff to hand out to their customers to get them interested in the product and to become obsessed with it like i am uh the last thing i just want to talk about quickly is they also revealed a new stratagem uh, it's called Jurassic Punch. And again, these stratagems, they're character individual. They're aimed at specific characters. And the Jurassic Punch one here, it, it applies to, in this case, a combiner, not just an individual character, but a whole combiner, in that of Volcanicus, the combiner of the Dinobots. Uh, the way that this one reads... Um, is that pretty much in a nutshell it's like well depending on the star difference between your opponent you get that much more bold with that star difference and to me that's a card that really in a lot of ways uh, is more of like of a sideboard kind of card because you don't know what you're dealing with when you get into your into it with your opponent the first time around so usually when you face them then you'll know oh okay we have a really big difference in stars here especially when you're talking again something like tidal wave that there could be even more stars with those micro masters involved uh, you know you could end up with like bold 20 if you have that much of a gap and bold 20 <laughs> That's uh, quite the unfair advantage, but it still will be an advantage. And so that's just an interesting card. Again, I see it more as a sideboard card, something that it really depends on the individual battle. But, I mean, still pretty interesting. Again, another interesting wrinkle that it adds to it. But so again, check this stuff out. Go to your local game store. Talk about the, the Wizards Play Network and the WPN and all of that and try to get them interested in carrying this product and let them know that you're interested. I always say that when you want to buy trading cards, always opt to buy from your local game store. That is the best way to do it because you support locally and also when it comes to trading card stuff, local game stores usually get the better deals. I mean, yeah, hey, you might be saving $5 if you bought on Amazon, but that extra $5 helps out the game store and that's the environment where you play that's the environment where you get your promos that's the environment where you meet people and it just helps everybody so check this out guys definitely go to your game store talk about the attack launch party kit for titan masters attack and uh hopefully get those cool tidal wave stuff i know i'm gonna i'm gonna be talking to dcg guys see if i could get something but check it out